How are we doing today, people? <clears throat> I'm Mark, and I am uh, one of the new iCloud helpers. Now, today I'm doing a video on um, the DNS iCloud bypass, okay? So, um, for example, a lot of people, they buy, you know, phones, iPads, iPod touches, any iOS device. Um, you could have bought it from Facebook, uh, Facebook, sorry, Marketplace. You could have bought it from Gumtree, eBay, Craigslist. You could have bought it from a market, a house clearance, anything, anything at all. And then you got it and then you're stuck on this page. You can't go any further, right? Now, in this video today, what I am going to show you is how you can get at least 50% access into your device whilst it is activation locked, which is referred to as iCloud locked. Okay, so uh, obviously, <clears throat> when you go through the setup, you get to this page and what you do is you click back, back again, and then you select the home button and you select more Wi-Fi settings, right? Now, um, you'll already be connected to Wi-Fi when you get to this stage anyway. And then what you do then is, whichever uh, is your network with the tick next to it, uh, what you're connected to, the Wi-Fi you're connected to, the information I, you select that, yeah? And basically what you do is, you select forget this network, yeah? So you've, you're disconnecting from the Wi-Fi and then go back onto it again, yeah? Scroll down and then you wanna go onto the configure DNS, right? And then you wanna select manual. You wanna add server. Now the server number I'm gonna add is one zero four dot one five four dot five one dot seven. Okay, that is uh, the DNS server for this. Okay, there's a few of them, but this is the one. I'll show you the list when we get in there. And after that, then you simply click. Uh, select save right and then what you do is you join your network again so uh, just going to put in my uh, password sorry Okay, just put in my password, select join. <clears throat> Once you've selected join, then um, select done at the top, and there we go. The DNS portal will pop up, okay? Now, once we're into the iCloud DNS bypass portal, what we need to do is select menu. But before we do, each different continent has each different server, okay? So I'm in Europe, so that's the server for Europe. Now, I did put in the one for USA, but it doesn't really matter because it still does the same thing. So there's no problem there. Now, the first thing you wanna do is select menu, right? Let's go back. All right, you gotta kinda tap the corner, there we go. And as you can see, there's a bunch of options here on the page, quite a few options on the page, and you wanna select applications, okay? Upon selecting applications, you wanna select, oh, not that one. You wanna select the second one down, it's called iHacks DNS. Select that. This will load up now. And there we go. Just like uh, the old school um, iOS devices, you just slide across like that. And there we go. You got your apps. Sorry. 
Sorry, folks, I'm just trying to get rid of that bar at the top by there. There we go, got rid of the bar. <laughs> okay, so, start at the beginning. Um, as you can see, you've got YouTube, you've got Google Maps, you've got uh, weather, photos. Uh, now, the apps at the bottom, like settings, chat, camera, they're faded out, so... I mean, when you go to open them, it's only going to open an empty page, basically. However, if you select Safari, sorry, select Safari, it did open yesterday. I don't know what's going on with it today. <laughs> Safari, Safari's being... Uh, ignorant at the moment but safari opens a bing basically so for example you've got your youtube you've got netflix uh you've got your gmail skype outlook over here you've got your social media you've got your facebook twitter instagram messenger twitch uh tumblr reddit um over here you've got some of the news apps uh, and a TV guide. Um, also, then if you swipe across, you've got the sports channels on the apps. And then across again, most importantly, you've got your Amazon, you've got your eBay, and you've got your PayPal. And it's, and over here, these are like just games, you know, little games like iHax, NES, is Nintendo games. And like over here, you've got like Flappy Bird, Bad Donuts, Candyland 2 you know, um, things like that. So basically, uh, to show you that, you know, these apps, sorry, these ha apps are fully accessible. Let's go on to YouTube, right? So we're on YouTube and just to show you that it works, for a new series of creator spotlights there we go so we know that youtube works yeah just like all these other apps work like for example if you want to sign into uh, your gmail or your outlook select it simply put in your email and your password log into your account you're good to go Um, same as all the others as well. Netflix, you want to sign into Netflix, watch some TV videos, you crack on. Um, it's all the same. All these apps up here, they work. Now, the camera and the others don't. Now, Safari does open, um, but it opens a Bing. And over here, you've got your social media. You know, you've got all these apps, uh, eBay, PayPal. You want to sign into PayPal. Do a, make a purchase through eBay, do a bank transfer or whatever it is you want to do. It's here and it's available for you. See? So, you know, even though the device is iCloud locked, you still have access to 50% of the phone. You see? Now, no, it's not as good as 100%, but if it's the only device you've got, and you know you want access to you know your your email um or you want access to youtube or netflix or you might want to watch a film because the thing is see folks i'm i'm currently using an iphone 7 right but they you can use them on any ios devices um ipads iphones even the ipod touches even though uh, they are still about, but not many people use them anymore. Um, but yeah, basically, um, th these are all the things you can do. Um, so, you know, I am the iCloud helper. <laughs> and basically, in the next video, folks, what we're going to be talking about is um, jailbreaking, right? But it's going to be jailbreak... Uh, so like check rain, you know, you can get on uh, Mac and Windows computers and that. You can use a jailbreak to bypass an iCloud lock, which means then that once the iCloud lock is bypassed, 
you've got access to 90% of your phone. So once you've been able to do that, you can do things like, you, you can do everything. The only thing you can't do um, on an iCloud bypass um, is you, you can't update your software. You can't uh, erase all content and factory settings. Um, and I heard you can't make phone calls, but they're looking on a fix on that as well of making phone calls. But the most important thing is you can use it for everything else, okay? You know, uh, FaceTime, um, iMessage, um, everything. Everything you can use on your phone. Um, and, and that is, you know, like literally using 95% of your phone with just a couple of things missing from it, so to speak. You know, it'll be, it's what's referred to as a jailbreak state. So that, that's what we'll be talking about in the next video, okay, folks? Um, please like and subscribe uh, to my video. Um, any comments, uh, drop in the section below, and I will be more than happy to help you um, and answer your questions and to... Uh, get this thing moving forward because iCloud locks, they've been around for some time. Their encryptions has been around since 2014. And just remember, there's a lot of people out there, you know, you end up buying these devices and what happens in the end? Sometimes your iCloud locked and depending where you got it from, you can't get yourself a refund. Do you know what I mean? Um, and basically, yeah, that's it you know, you can't do it. So, um, yeah, please get back to me. Let me know what you think. And um, I'll be glad to hear from you folks. Uh, take care and um, bye for now. Thank you.